Mike Joseph is standing by with Susan Hurd, and she's got a great story to tell. Here's Mike. Gentlemen, childhood cancer is the number one disease taking the lives of young children around the country more than anything else. And tonight I'm joined by Susan Hurd. Susan, so nice to have you here for the halftime. It's awesome to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Susan, you lost your son a couple of years ago, uh, and, and David was such an inspiration to you, and he kind of gave you some words that he wanted to move forward with. Tell me a little bit about that. He did. So he passed away six years ago at the age of 10. But as he was getting ready to leave the earth, he said to me, I want you to keep raising money for St. Baldrick's to fund the most research and get answers for more kids so that situations like this don't happen. Unbelievable, inspirational. Tell me a little bit about St. Baldrick's. This is a foundation that you began. It's been going strong here at Lafayette for five years. Give me a little bit of background. So I love, so St. Baldrick's is volunteer powered. And so as a volunteer, we get the opportunity to bring events anywhere that there's interest. And here at Lafayette, the community has just totally embraced this idea. We're at year five. There's heads being shaved right now out in the hallway. <laughs> And the students have done a tremendous job. In five years, they've raised $140,000 already, which would fund an entire research scholar and a half for one full year. So amazing. That is fantastic. And the way the Lafayette community embraced this, tell me about that. You and I talked a little earlier about the way the kids get involved. Nothing obviously in it for them, just the giving, and that's what it's about. But tell me about how that, you're, you live here on College Hill. I lived here on College Hill. Your husband, Tom, is a graduate of Lafayette, 1991. Uh, and, and that Lafayette community, the embrace and the way they just take you in is just amazing. It is tremendous to me that they actually came to me and said, we want to do this. And I thought the first year I kind of brought it to them. But now, according to the athletic department, the students say, we're doing that again, right? And every year it's come back. And we have a student leader who leads the program. And the girls' teams get involved, too. They just want to fundraise. They don't have to shave their heads or anything, but they just want to be involved. Right, just an, am an amazing. And, and that's what the Lafayette community is all about. Now, uh, you know, David being such an inspiration. Oh, you know, you also, we, we talked a little bit about you had Mary Jo come in, uh, one of our theater professors, uh, Mary Jo Lodge. And she talked a little bit about getting a program down the hill the Crane Project. Tell me uh, quickly about that maybe. So the National Crane Project was again David's inspiration brought by Mary Jo. She just wanted to have him see the play that she was putting on that season and give him the thousand cranes as a symbol of hope. And he took those cranes and he looked at Mary Jo and said, I think we should put one of these mobiles in every children's hospital. And like everybody else at Lafayette, she just embraced it and said, let's do it. And the students folded hundreds of thousands of cranes, strung mobiles. And I feel like David's spirit is um, absolutely around campus and with all the students here. Always alive and well. And, and I read actually something about the Crane Project is they're not accepting anymore <laughs> because they are so full. They said, we're not accepting anymore. When we run down, we'll actually get more of those. But uh, the inspiration is phenomenal. We have heads being shaved right out there right now, 730, 830. You told me you got a call. There might be, there's a line out the door. There's a line out the door is what's happening right now. And the women's lacrosse team is out practicing, but they're our largest, um, the best fundraisers this time around. So they're out on the field, and I'm going to wait and go out and talk to them in a little bit, too. I don't know if you'll get any head shave there. No. But the boys seem to really get into it, the football team and, and the baseball team and everybody. And, and this the College Hill is a special, special place. It really is. The community here is just one of the most tremendous I've ever experienced. And to us, this event is part of just how we um, – keep David alive because his the day that he passed was actually February 11th so it just passed the anniversary and we always have the event right around this time and Katie McKittrick in the um, athletic department is sort of leads with the students and we just make it special. Well we don't want Lafayette just be Lafayette we want to get Moravian, Muhlenberg, Lehigh, DeSales everybody's got to get involved and maybe quickly can can they get involved? Absolutely any campus that wants to get involved we have hundreds of campuses around the country that are already involved and we'd love to see more in the Lehigh Valley get, get engaged and try to beat Lafayette. I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know if they'll do that. Thank you so much for a couple minutes. Your son's an inspiration. You and your husband are an inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. This was great. Hey, Gary, John, two seats outside, no waiting. Back to you. <laughs>